Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. Today, the reality of invasive species is on everyone's mind. Invaders like the round goby, zebra mussels, spiny water fleas, Asian carp, and even viruses like VHS have anglers and fishery managers on red alert. Once invasive species enter a body of water, they change things forever. As anglers fishing live bait, we have to do everything we can to prevent the spread of invasive species. The best way to prevent the spread of invasive species is to limit the movement of water from one body to another. When you buy your bait from a bait shop, you know that the water has been tested and it's free of invasive species. Those are lively. That's going to catch fish. I've got them insulated in the bucket and oxygenated. I'm ready to hit the water. Tim, thanks a bunch. Have fun. All right. Once you get to the lake, fill up the container you're going to take on the water with fresh lake water. When you get to the lake, use a dip net to get your bait out of the bait shop water and put it into your onboard container. Make sure to save your bait shop water for when you're done fishing. It'll come in handy later on. A Ziploc bag full of ice will keep chlorinated water away from your minnows, but will keep your water cool all day for when you're off the water. When your day on the water is done and you have leftover bait, simply drain the water from your onboard container and place your bait back in the bait shop water that you've set aside. Even if you haven't added any lake water to your onboard bait containers, make sure to drain all the water when you come off the lake. It's a good habit and will prevent the spread of accidental transfer of water from one body to another. Always make sure you read and know your local regulations regarding live bait use and transport as they vary from state to state and from lake to lake. When you're on the water, enjoy all the success that fishing with live bait brings. In all conditions, nothing catches more fish consistently than live bait.